Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome back to my channel SK Electronic Prab. Here, you find all helping material for preparation of different competitive engineering exams. Today's topic is, temperature coefficient of resistance. So, let's get started. First, let's go through the definition. The definition says, temperature coefficient of a resistance is the amount by which resistance changes when temperature changes per degree centigrade. In simple words we can say that it is the measure of variation of resistance at different temperatures. It is represented by alpha. There are two cases to discuss, one when we increase the temperature, as a result the resistance increases so the temperature of that materials are called positive temperature coefficient. For example, conductors 2 when we increase the temperature and resistance decreases, temperature of that materials are called negative temperature coefficient. And the examples are semiconductors and insulators. Now, let's discuss them one by one. As said earlier, positive temperature coefficient is the one in which resistance is increased by increasing temperature now, we will understand it through a graph. In this graph, by increasing temperature, resistance is increasing linearly which is mostly the case in conductors and metals. Negative temperature coefficient is the one in which resistance is decreased by increasing temperature. This graph shows declined line which means by increasing temperature, resistance is decreasing and this phenomena occurs usually in semiconductor. Now, we will derive the expression for equation to find the changed resistance. Let us consider, resistance of the material has been changed from R1 to R2 while temperature was increased from T1 to T2. The line segment CF shows how the resistance varies for temperatures between T1 and T2. The shear of the slope of segment CF, the more the resistance increases with temperature. Extending CF to the temperature axis gives point AY is the difference between 0 degrees Celsius and the temperature at which the resistance would be 0 if it continued to decrease linearly at very low temperatures. By extending CF to the temperature axis triangles ABC and ADF are obtained. Since these triangles are similar, substituting the quantities that the sides of the triangles represent, gives DF over BC is equal to AD over AB is equal to AO plus OD over AO plus OB. We obtain equation, R2 over R1 is equal to Y plus T2 over Y plus T1. This is the ratio of final resistance to the initial resistance. Since resistivity is usually stated for a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, we consider T1 to be at 20 degrees Celsius. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle CEF, so FE over BC is equal to CE over AB substituting the quantities that the sides of the triangles represent gives. FE over BC is equal to CE over AB. BC represents R1 and CE is delta T here. Delta T is the difference between T and 20 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the quantity, 1 over y plus 20 is the temperature coefficient of resistance at 20 degrees Celsius, the proportion by which the resistance changes per degree of change in temperature from 20 degrees Celsius. We represent this coefficient by the Greek letter, alpha. Since CE and BD are parallel, and R2 is equal to ED plus FED is equal to R1, value of FE was obtained in previous slide from here. By rearranging we obtain the following expression. As 1 over y plus 20 is equal to alpha, we can write the equation as R2 is equal to R1 into 1 plus alpha delta T. Go through this video and you will know how we got resistance equals to rho into L over A. If we put this value of resistance in our expression then we obtain the general equation of the changed resistance. There is also another method to find the value of alpha. Let us consider R0 is the resistance at 0 degree Celsius and RT is the resistance at the temperature T degree Celsius after heating. Delta R is the change in resistance which is final resistance minus the initial resistance. Change in resistance depends upon three factors. Delta R is directly proportional to the initial resistance R0, meaning that if initial resistance is high then change in resistance will also be high. If initial resistance is low, change in resistance will also be low. Change in resistance is also directly proportional to the rise in temperature means how much temperature has been increased. 
Delta R also depends on the nature of conductor. From above equations, we can write delta R is directly proportional to R0 and temperature T. Removing the proportionality sign, we introduce constant alpha, so the equation becomes RT minus R0 equal to alpha R0 into temperature T by rearranging the above equation to find the final resistance. We get RT is equal to R0 plus alpha R0 into T as R0 is in both terms. Take it common an equation becomes RT equals to R0 into 1 plus alpha delta T. From above equation, we will find the value of alpha by solving the equation for alpha. These are temperature coefficient of resistance of materials calculated at 20 degrees Celsius because resistivity is usually defined at 20 degrees. Values of alpha are in per Kelvin unit. Now, let's solve a numerical to get a better understanding of the picture. The problem says, a heating element made from iron has a resistance of 16.0 ohms at 1000 degrees Celsius. Find the resistance at normal room temperature. First, write down the known and unknown of the problem. Final resistance is 16. Final temperature is 1000 degrees Celsius. Initial resistance is to be found. Value of alpha for iron is 0.0055 from the table. Change in resistance will be 1000 minus 20 which is equal to 980. Rearrange this equation to find the value of initial resistance put the values and solve. The initial resistance comes out to be 2.5039 ohms. That's all for today, hope you got a clear idea of what is temperature coefficient of resistance. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.